Okay, y'all, here we are with another problem that many of us uh, experience with these blinds. Have you ever tried to pull your blinds up and they just won't go up straight? Something's not right. And even when you try to lock it, it doesn't lock correctly. Well, let's see what the problem could be. What a mess I have here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at our blind. First of all, we want to take the blind down. Um, I'm sure you know how to do this, but I'm just showing you anyway. We're going to take our first cover off and then we're going to scoot on over to the other side of the blind. And we're going to take the second cover off. And we're going to put it in a safe place so we don't lose it. Our next step is to take this little wand out. You know, unloosen it by most likely pushing this tab up so that the wand can come off. Okay. And then carefully take the wand off. And now the blind is ready to come down. So we can take a closer look at what the problem is. All right, as we see here, you see a wheel in there. And you see two strings coming on either side of that silver piece. And um, as I was pushing up my blind, I took note of the string that just would not catch. That wheel is supposed to catch the strings to lock it in place, but it seems like it's not doing that. I don't know why. The mechanism might have be broken or something, but these aren't old blinds, so I don't know why it's doing this. But I'm gonna take a careful look, and I'm gonna remember the string that would not work correctly. Looking inside, at the bottom of the string, you see a knot. We'll push that string right on out and then unravel that knot. This little knot. That's why I don't have my fingernails on today. <laughs> okay, knot is unraveled. Now I can take this plastic piece off. And then you might see, I don't know, depends on who put it up, you might see a little thing in the middle of your string. And that's another stopper in order to stop the blind from going down too far. So we want to carefully take this knot out. And we want to uh, get this plastic part from around this string and save it in a safe place because it's a small part. All right, taking it off, looking at how they have it put on. Look like it's just wrapped around that plastic piece. And then we're going to take the knot out of it because we need a straight string in order to fix these blinds. Whew, those nails look atrocious. All right, we have a straight string now with nothing to hold, nothing to stop it. All right, now I'm gonna remember that one of these strings just was not catching. I think it was this one. I'm going to thread that string back through the top of the blind. Yep, just like this. Pulling the string back through. Pulling, pulling. So we get to the end of this string. Okay, 
Now the whole strings back through. Now I want to try to insert that string back through the blonde, but this time I don't want it to, see that silver piece? I don't want it to be on the other side of the silver piece. I'm going to put the str two strings together to see if that'll help that wheel to lock in place. And I'm having a little trouble here because the string is not really, well, it's a little unraveled. So I might have to go get a little help here to push that string through. And remember, I want the strings to be together. Cuticle pusher. And it's wooden. It shouldn't hurt anything. And that's going to help me push that string through. Anything sharp will do. Okay. Push it down, down, down. So you see it coming through. And I can see the string, but I don't think, I think it's trying to go on the other side of that silver piece. So I'm going to take my little helping wooden piece and bring it, bring it on the same side as the string that's already in place and then pull it on through. And my hopes is that the two strings together might make that wheel mechanism lock. And I've done this before, so it, it truly works. Then you want to make sure your strings are straight. Pretty straight, straight as you can. Test the locking mechanism. Seems like it's working. All right, so now that the string is through, I need to put all my plastic pieces back on. So I'm going to push this piece of string back down this plastic piece. Like this. pushing it enough so that I can just push the string through. And then pull the string out, re-knot that string, and it doesn't matter what type of knot you want to put in it. Re-knot it. And then you have this bottom plex plastic mechanism back in place. Shouldn't it, shouldn't be any string seen underneath that um, plastic piece. Then we're going to put the blinds back up. Carefully. Put our uh, front pieces back on. Because if you don't put the front pieces back on, when you go to pull your blinds, they'll fall right down in your face. So make sure those plastic covers are back on after you put your blinds back up. All right. Locked in place. And then I, this is up to you at your discretion. I like to put the finishing uh, blonde over the last piece to make it look a little neater, make it look more finished. All right, let's run a test. Ah, it seems to be catching now. Okay. Okay.